So how do you think this is going to go today? No idea. I've not whipped the vote. Uh, I've not tried to encourage members to vote one way or the other. Uh, members that have come up uh, and asked questions, uh, I've tried to answer those questions, try to, to refer them to what's in the report. Uh, I've just encouraged members to do two things. Read the report. Uh, it's a 50-plus page report, which I believe is very damning and really sets forth uh, the evidentiary basis for why expulsion is proper, and then to go back and watch the floor debate yesterday. Yeah. And if members do that, uh, and then members should vote their conscience, uh, and I hope that that's what members will do. I hope that this vote uh, is an important vote, uh, and I hope that members will take the time to do those two things. What is the anywhere? signal that's sent if he is not expelled, based on the report you put together, the time and effort you guys put into it, and the fact that there's probably more than a majority for sure is a spell in, but you know, the, the bar is in the Constitution. Yeah, you know, I, I, I think the the message that it will send is that no member will be able to be expelled without a, without a felony conviction. Uh, and we know that that's not required under the Constitution. Uh, the Constitution clearly sets forth that each House has the ability to discipline members for poor behavior uh, and that it requires a two-third vote for expulsion. Uh, you know, we also heard very early on that there was this argument that Mr. Santos had not received due process. Uh, I think clearly we've answered it and we've shown that he has received due process, due process both in the investigation that was conducted by the Ethics Committee uh, and then in the proceeding to expel Mr. Santos. And so now the argument seems to have shifted from due process to the precedent that this may set. Uh, and look, other members who have had similar behavior have resigned. Uh, this would be somewhat unprecedented in that he would have been the only member who refused to resign in the face of overwhelming evidence uh, and forced the House to have the vote on expulsion. Do you fear what this means for the Republican Party if uh, he's not expelled because Democrats can turn this around and say, well, you guys must have a lengthy speaker's election, you can't pass your appropriate, you can't govern, you can't kick out Santos? I mean, how does that, how does that play out politically? You know, I I'm not concerned with the political ramifications. Uh, that, that's leadership. Uh, that's but, but that's, but that's going to be an issue for Right. They're going to run those ads with Santos in every district around the country that's a swing district. Uh, they that, 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 that's not a that's not a albatross around the neck of the GOP. He's not kicked out today. You know, again, you know, I think that's going to vary uh, district to district, and again, it's also going to vary on, on how members vote. You know, if members vote to support expulsion, but but yet ultimately he's not expelled, uh, I don't know that that caused those individual members uh, any particular harm. Um, but again, you know, I'm not going to, and, and I have done my best to try to distance myself from this politically. Uh, I have tried to present the facts, to present uh, the, the, the evidence, if you will, uh, and then uh, explain to members why the evidence is so egregious that we followed the Constitution, we followed the rules that have been set forth, uh, and then let members make their own decisions. Chairman, are you supposed to how leadership's handled this? Do you wish they were firmer in you know, whipping it or suggesting people how, how they should vote? I know a few members members were a little discouraged that there hasn't been more guidance from leadership. Well, you know, uh, I I'm telling the uh members the same thing leadership is, which is this is a vote of confidence. Uh, I'm not trying to talk members into voting for it. Uh, I'm clearly not trying to talk mo members out of voting uh, against it. Uh, and so I, I think leadership um, feels like that, that this is a decision, again, that has to be a vote of confidence and that members have to make that decision without the uh, influence of leadership one way or the other. Do you want there to be a new precedent set here that, hey, an ethics committee investigation can prove the evidence that can remove somebody from office? Well, uh, again, if I didn't support this, I wouldn't have offered the resolution. I wouldn't have spoke on the floor. Uh, I'm not personally concerned with precedent. Uh, I'm concerned with doing the right thing, following the Constitution, and if the conduct is so egregious as it is in this case, the right thing is expulsion. Uh, and if that goes, oh, excuse me, if that goes against precedent, uh, I'm prepared to go against precedent. Uh, again, because uh, we've seen that part of the reason we're in this situation where we had this precedent is members previously resigned. With this type of behavior, members stepped up, they resigned, they did not force a vote, but that's not what we have here today. Thank, Thank you all very much. Thank you, Chairman. Hi, thanks, Congressman.